Well, a cocoa woman is now facing a grand theft charge for adoption fraud. According to investigators, they say that she offered to give up her own unborn child, took thousands of dollars from the adoptive parents, but then stopped communicating once that child was born. Well, West who tonight, Gavita 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 spoke with the adoptive family. And tonight, this is such a sad story. What did that family tell you? That's right, Luana. As you can imagine, the parents are devastated. Not only are they without the baby they were hoping to welcome home, they also lost more than 11 $11,000 after trying to support the birth mother, April Norris, who had agreed to give up her child to them. It hurts um, to have been taken advantage of in, in such, a, uh, such an intense way. Yeah. This couple wanted to complete their family with one final adoption have a, a little sibling that our youngest could grow up with. An FDLE investigation that started in March shows April Stormy Norris of Coco signed a contract in 2020 with Ellen Kaplan Adoptions to give up her child to the couple. Ellen Kaplan spoke with us about how the process works in Florida. Florida law allows a birth mom to receive assistance with their actual living expenses during their pregnancy and up to six weeks post placement. We're not naming the parents to protect their privacy. Records show they gave more than $11,300 to April Norris, who was expected to use it for rent, phone bills, and other expenses. But she allegedly spent the money on baby supplies instead. Officials say she had no intention of giving up her child and said she lied about where she was living and about knowing the father. After Norris gave birth, she allegedly switched doctors and cut off communication with the adoptive parents and Ellen Kaplan. Norris is facing a grand theft charge. DCFS placed the child in foster care last year. That child is the, the truest victim. Just looking for, for justice and to number one, make sure that that this can't happen to another family. They're hoping this doesn't deter other families from providing a welcoming home to children in need. We don't want people to look at the adoptive process and look at birth mothers as as inhuman, as criminals. Adoption is about preserving families, not taking away. So I think there could be some reform, um, but I also do believe it's very important to provide the support for these families. Ellen Kaplan Adoptions told police it lost about $15,000 because of April's actions. She was served with a felony charge at the Brevard County Jail on Friday, where she was already in custody on unrelated charges. We tried reaching her family and friends, but couldn't get in contact with them.